Hello friends, Kishan is here again and welcome you in this video tutorial. This video is the continuation of my previous video where uh, we had started exploring uh, transaction attributes. So as we know that while uh, I am mean declaring at the rate transactional annotation in your service layer method where you want to handle the transaction, we can specify the many attributes. One of the attributes is called propagation level. What is propagation level? I had already explained to you and we had discussed about the three propagation level like required, requires new and nested. So next propagation level is mandatory. So let, let's understand what is mandatory propagation behavior. The mandatory behavior states that an existing open transaction must already exist. If not, exception will be thrown by the container. Okay, this is very straightforward, simple. If you specify a uh, propagation level as mandatory, then your, I mean, this method is going to run within the transaction context. If a uh, new transaction does not start, then if uh, a transaction does not exist, then exception will be thrown by the container. That's so simple. Now we have a next transaction level is called a neighbor. The neighbor behavior states that an existing open transaction must not already exist. If a transaction exists, then exception will be thrown by the container. Neighbor means your API is not going to run within the transaction context. If any transaction is already exist or try to uh, uh, try to I mean uh, run try to I mean begin a new transaction, then anyway that is going to throw an exception that will not allow. Uh, your API to run within the transaction. Now we have a uh, something is called not supported propagation label. So not support supported we can explain like that. This attribute says that transaction is not supported. In other words, the activity needs to be performed non-transactionally. If an existing transaction is present then it is such suspended till the activity finishes. So that's all about the not supported transaction. Now we have also a progression behavior like supports. The supports behavior will execute the scope of the transaction if an open transaction already exists. If there is not an already open transaction, the method will execute anyway, but in a non-transactionally means that is going to support if some transaction is already existing that is gonna run if there is no transaction then still that that is going to support you so that's all about the propagation level now last but not the least we have a something is called isolation level isolation level also also you have a in plain jdbc as well so these are the isolation level first we have a default if you select default then most of the database default trans, uh, isolation level is the uh, read committed only. So internally uh, depends on your database. So internally most of the database uh, will select uh, read committed uh, uh, isolation level only. So we have a read committed, read uncommitted, repeatable read and serializable. So basically when we know that when your code is going to deploy in the multi-threaded environment, then you have chance for the dirty reads, non-reputable reads and phantom reads. Right? What is dirty, uh, non-reputable and phantom reads already I had, I had explained in my previous video tutorial. So please go and refer uh, that video tutorial so you will understand what is, uh, I mean, dirty, non-reputable and phantom reads. To prevent dirty reads, we have a uh, isolation level read committed. To pre prevent non-reputable read, we have a isolation level read uncommitted. Uh, read, uh, sorry, read uncommitted means uh, you have chance to occur uh, all kind of I mean uh, error in your code. Like you may have a dirty, dirty read, non-reputable reads, and phantom reads. If you want to prevent uh, dirty reads, then you have a constant like read committed. So your transaction is going to read only committed data. If some other transaction parallelly running and that modify something in the database, then your com uh, your transaction is not going to root read the uncommitted data. So that will basically prevent the uh, dirty read. Now we have a 
no, uh, to prevent non repeatable reads kind of problem we have a constant is called uh, repeatable read now fourth we have a serializable so basically this will prevent the all kind of problem like all when i say all kind of problem that will prevent the dirty reads non repeatable reads and phantom reads as well but your application will be uh, i mean your application will run in uh, basically this uh, if you apply this isolation level then uh, your application is going to become very slow because uh, your application can be accessed by the single thread at a time so the request will be uh, fulfilled in the serialized version serialized way so your application performance will be degraded so based on the your requirement you need to choose any of one so that's all i wanted to say so guys this was just a theoretical discussion rather practical so that's all i wanted to teach you in this video tutorial next series of video tutorial i'm going to take some new topic in this in a spring framework so please be with me over there and till that happy coding thank you so much for watching this video